Oh, hey, Haley. Um, can you tell me what energy is? Do you, like, do you know what the definition of energy is? Oh, okay. Okay, maybe not then. Oh, okay. Never Hey Wayne, what do you think energy is? Uh, like, nothing or like, stuff like moves. The ultimate source of energy is the sun. Hey Julie and Christina, can you tell me what you guys think energy is? <laughs> Welcome to the Lee Mari Christensen Babcock Crank Center for Children Who... Look at this. We're going to investigate enthalpy, entropy, kinetic and potential energy, exothermic and endothermic reactions, and non-spontaneous and spontaneous reactions. Hey, Eric, a cat! Oh. Hey, Miranda, what is energy? Well, Erica, energy is the ability to do work or produce heat. It exists in two basic forms, kinetic and potential energy. So what is the difference between potential and kinetic energy? Well, potential energy is the energy due to the composition or position of an object. What do you have to say about that, Alex? Well, kinetic energy is the energy of motion. As temperature increases, the motion of the particles increases as well. Oh, dang, that was good. This book right now is in potential energy. Let's see it in kinetic energy. This trampoline has potential energy. <laughs> this trampoline has kinetic energy. Hey Alex, since you seem to know everything, why don't you just tell me what entropy is? I think I can do that, Karen. Entropy, or S, is the measure of the disorder or randomness of the particles that make up a system. The tendency toward disorder or randomness is summarized in the law of disorder, which states that spontaneous processes always proceed in a way that the entropy of the universe increases. For example, this room has low entropy because it is not in disorder. This room, on the other hand, has high entropy because it's very disorganized. Hey, I'm enthalpy, which means that I'm actually the heat content of the system at a constant pressure. So delta, delta is what, how you measure change. And if the delta H is negative, then that means that the reaction is exothermic. But if the delta H is positive, then that means the reaction is endothermic. This is exothermic, meaning it gives off heat. <laughs> Probably exothermic, though. <laughs> Woo! This ice cube melting my hand is endothermic because it absorbs heat to melt. Open the curtain. <laughs> a spontaneous process is a physical or chemical change that occurs with no outside intervention, but for many spontaneous processes, some amount of energy must be supplied to get the process started, such as lighting a Bunsen burner. If you reverse these reactions, then they become non-spontaneous reactions. Thanks for tuning back in to the Lee Babcock Crank. You messed it up. Oh, whatever. Thanks for tuning in to the Lee Meyer Christensen Babcock Crank Center for children who care for Oh my god, oh my god, okay, we're done. Help me, make the noise! Help me! Give me my shoes! Make the noise. Make, make the noise. Make the noise. Oh. <laughs> oh, you have to do it. Snowy, get, get over there, snowball. How much do you Okay, ready? Set, one, two, three, take seven. I'm not snowing no like six glasses!